Ok, so welcome to Senegal. Um, so I will go briefly about uh, speaking about Institut Pasteur Dakar. Uh, it's now a Senegalese non-profit pr uh, private foundation of public interest. Uh, as, uh, Pasteur is uh, just hide behind the screen on the picture that we have uh, behind us. So it's a vision of preventing infectious disease, chronic disease, mission contribute to public health in Senegal and Africa. So research, training, education, expertise, vaccine production, and uh, ambition as everyone is detect, prevent, and resp response to epidemics. So we have a pretty, pretty much large uh, research area going from antimicrobial resistance, emerging pathogen, diagnostic modeling, and so on. So we have uh, several international reference centers from, from WHO on arborvirus and viral hemorrhagic fever of uh, poliomyelite. Uh, we just recently got the FAO reference center for uh, antimicrobial resistance. Why about cholera? Next question. We have National Reference Center for Influenza, Measles, Rabies, Rotavirus, Enterobacteria. So we have some cholera activities with, uh, funded by UNICEF on environmental uh, surveillance with uh, TDR uh, Crystal VC. Uh, again, on uh, other environmental surveillance and human mobility modeling in, in uh, Niger this time, uh, just ended this year. We have also some uh, Awatox is uh, is uh, collecting and uh, analyzing water quality in, in, in the uh, coastal water of Presqu'île of Dakar, looking for, for, uh, for Vibrios. So it's end up with, with several publications specifically focused on cholera. So uh, identification of atypical Elta Vibrio O1 Ogawa hosting ST, SXT elements in Senegal, dynamic of cholera epidemic from Benin to Mauritania, and uh, the mobile phone data highlights the role of mass gathering in spreading of cholera outbreaks. So the lab capacity is basically the, the culture gold standard. We have biomolecular uh, capability with PCR, QPCR, WGS with a MySec. We just got recently a ISEC too. We are using a Malditov that is with the Hospital Principal de Dakar to, to do a bacterial ident identification. We are doing antibiotic resistance with automatic reading with Adagio. We, are, we have biobanking uh, with several minus 80 uh, freezer. We have a bioinformatic biostats database management uh, also team. And uh, so it's, it's, it's pretty much. So just to answer the question of David, this is not Lorenzo on the picture. <laughs> <laughs> So we have also a, a BSL3 uh, level truck and a mini truck lab that we can deploy for, for, for outbreak response on the, on the field. And um, this is some of innovation that was uh, the um, sweet case Ebola rapid test that was developed. But uh, what about, uh, we, I think we already discussed a lot about how to deploy the lab on the field for cholera. So here is my conclusion. It's that detection and response to epidemic is like uh, ecosystem to detect, response control, early detection, research, deployment, vaccine production, and uh, also training and uh, education. So the perspective is that we look for more involvement, involvement in cholera surveillance in Western and Central Africa. Capacity building on cholera IMR surveillance in other uh, West and Central Africa. What's next to the antibiotics area? We have already one, one student who is admitted to the, to the phage training workshop uh, that will be held in, in uh, Ghana in, in July. And uh, we are looking for regional cholera transmission modeling, in, including big, big data derived by, uh, to the human mobility. And from the presentation of Andrew this morning, why not uh, testing this seroprevalence uh, study in Senegal, where we don't have look any cholera cases since 10 years? So it might be a good, good look to see what's what's going on there. That's it. That's good. Thank you very much.